what's up guys and welcome to today's video and in today's video i want to talk about doing cardio for fat loss should you do cardio for fat loss now personally i'm not a fan i'm not a fan of doing cardio for fat loss and i'll tell you why now i just want to preface this and say i am not saying don't do cardio okay there are a lot of benefits of cardio of doing cardio it's great for your cardiovascular system it's great for just mindset mental health um, there are a lot of benefits to doing cardio but fat loss is pretty much down the bottom now if you have a deadline coming up maybe you're going on holiday maybe you've got you're stepping on stage or you've got some deadline coming up where you want to look extra lean and ripped then by all means you know do the cardio for, for the fat loss purposes but if you're consistent with your training and your nutrition all year, you shouldn't need to do lots of cardio before a deadline. And the reason why I'm not a fan of doing cardio for fat loss is because it's very short-term thinking. Like, yes, when you do cardio, you burn more calories than you otherwise would at rest. And for that day, you're daily calorie expenditure is higher but the next day comes along and you're back to square one again and you have to keep doing the cardio every single day to maintain that higher daily expenditure so it's very short-term thinking if you don't do the cardio if you don't continue to do the cardio every single day um, your daily expenditure will go lower when you stop doing the cardio and then you're just going to gain that weight back so what should you do instead well a better strategy is to focus on weightlifting strength training and building muscle because when you lift weights you have like a it raises your basal metabolic rate okay so for the approximately 24 hours after you've after you've hit the weights your bmr which is how many calories you burn in at rest is going to be raised so it's not just about the calories that you burn when you lift weights which obviously you will burn some not as many as when you do cardio but you're still burning some calories but after then for approximately 24 hours you're going to be burning more calories but on top of that the kind of the long-term reason to lift weights is you're going to build muscle and the more muscle you have on your body the more calories you're going to burn at rest so over time your bmr is going to trend upwards and say you have two people they both weigh the same amount and um yeah one person yeah they both weigh 80 kilos but one person has a lot more muscle than the other person, well, that person with a lot more muscle is just gonna naturally burn more calories at rest. Um, so that's why I'm not really a fan of doing cardio for fat loss. Now, obviously I'm not saying do, don't do cardio. Cardio is very beneficial. There are a lot of reasons to do cardio and I try and do cardio every single day. I mean, I'm even doing some cardio right now. I mean. Not really just getting some steps in but for those of you that skip the cardio i know there's a lot of people out there that just hate doing the cardio they can't motivate themselves to do it if that's you then what i would do instead is just try and get some steps in every single day now the best thing to do will be to do cardio every day even if it's just 20 minutes with your heart rate at about 120 or something like that. But for some of you, I know some of you out there, you're not gonna do that, okay? So what's an easier goal to achieve than that? And it's just doing some 10 minute walks. Like often, I will just walk in my garden like I'm doing right now. I'll just do this for 10, 15, 20 minutes. It's a good way to get some sun and be outside as well. But to be honest, even if it's raining, I would just walk around my living area, walk around my um, my kitchen, dining table. If, if I, I'm not gonna go to the gym or I'm not gonna go to the beach or I'm not gonna do any form of cardio, 
I would just get some steps in every single day. And for me, that's a really quick and easy hack just to get some steps in, just to keep um, my calorie expenditure slightly higher, just to move the body. A lot of the times, um, just moving the body can help you feel so much better. It can help take a nice break from work, particularly if you sit at a desk all day, or even after eating. A 10 minute walk after eating is really, really good for digestion. And that's it, that's all I've got for you guys. Uh, that's why I'm not really a fan of doing cardio for fat loss, but you should definitely do your cardio. Don't be skipping your cardio. And uh, let me know if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to get in the best shape of your life, uh, get in contact, you know, I working with clients one-on-one, -on -one, coaching them on their goals, lose fat, build muscle. I can work with you one-on-one -on -one to uh, get you in the best shape of your life. And other than that, guys, I just want to thank you all for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon.